Hello humans, are you ready? Let's do this already! The host is a fedora, and it looks something like that. And here I got an Arch Linux, a super fresh installation with default GNOME, and I only put the save desktop from Flathub, nothing else. Okay, first of all, there is a periodic saving option that automatically can save our session every week or something. And then, we can sync that to another machine through network. Basically, it creates a file that is transferred with HTTPS, but I think that's a bit too much, so let's stay to the basics. A save and a load really. But before, we can select the items we want to save. Um, icons, I don't use any. Themes I don't have. And flat packs. What it does here is to create a list with our installed Flatpak apps, and then we can easily reinstall them to the other machine. But, there is a better app for that, than not only sync the Flatpak apps, but also all their configurations, and even their data. And anyway, for this video we don't want to wait for installing 10 gigs do we? Apply. And save. It's only an archive file and I'm saving it on home. Well... Um, it's this one. A second to see what's inside. Backgrounds. Classic Rika Takanashi. On Gnome Shell. We basically have the extensions. And those are everything I have this moment. On GTK3. It only has the bookmarks. Which by the way are hard-coded to the username. So if you export to an installation with a different name, they won't work. The GTK4 folder is empty. And if you don't know already those are the folders under .config. Finally we have the G settings, which is under .config, .dconf, and user. Originally I was planning to share to you the export, but if you import this to your current desktop, you'll probably do more damage rather good. And I'm saying because this app perhaps should have given some more control on what we want to export here. For example, it could try to guess the home links, like the backgrounds paths, so it could import them correctly in every account. Anyway, we cool here because both machines have the same username. So I'm moving this to Arch already. And I will also move my fonts that the app unfortunately didn't export them. Okay, we have our files and everything here. Now we need to open the save desktop for importing them. Import. Import from file. Downloads. This file. Open. Almost done! It didn't do the extensions because it needs a restart for that. But before, I will also add the fonts just to make sure it works. Which it does, because the fonts have been saved into G settings. But anyway, for the sake of completeness let's finish it. We only need to create a fonts directory inside local and share, and put them inside. It's Fantask Sans for the terminal and YouTube Sans for the interface of course. I think I have these fonts more than 4 years. Woo! Alright, time to restart. Oh my god! Yet another GNOME application successfully worked. Which to be honest you didn't expect it, do you? And the fonts work too. Meanwhile, now that terminal is ported to GTK4, I'm wondering, will Arch Linux keep the console on GNOME group? But probably console will be the default terminal emulator for the next GNOME versions because of the responsive mode. So, um, the answer is yes I guess?